What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode, the fantasy draft with the Anaheim Ducks here. And um, before we get started, what I'm going to do, uh, as a lot of people wanted to see, I'm going to check out, we're going to go through all the lines of all the other teams. And for those of you who don't really care about that, I will uh, put down in the uh, pinned comment, I'll have a, a timestamp where you can just skip ahead to all that and we'll get into the simming. The simming will most likely get all the way up to the trade deadline, uh, as we obviously don't have any re-signing and stuff to do like that. So, uh, yeah, so now I'm just going to, we're going to go through all the uh, NHL lines here and uh, see what the teams look like. So here's what Arizona's looking like. Wow. Uh, Teravina, Stamkos, Marner. Oh, that's going to be filthy. Stamkos and Marner. They even got Lark in here. Yeah, decent team they built. Uh, not that strong defensively. Uh, not really, and not strong at all on the goaltender end. Yikes, Okay. Uh, Boston, ooh, Forsberg, Malkin, they fall off on the right wing side, they got Yanni Gord, then they got Laurel Thor <laughs> Thornton, back, yeah, that's right, back in Boston, they got Horvat though, Thornton, Donskoy, interesting, uh, their bottom, bottoms are not too good, but they do have some young talent, they got, you know, Beauvillier and Tuck coming up, that's actually two really good picks right there, uh, defensively, not very strong, they're gonna have to deal with suitors, con oh, except they got Chikrin, yeah, Actually, not too bad. Yeah, they got some young talent there. Uh, goalies, yeah, decent. Two of the same. All right, Buffalo. Arvidsson, McKinnon, Nylander. Oh, God. Oh, man. Then Perot, Getzlaff, Tolvin. And they fall off on the wings, definitely. But young guys. Yeah. Wow. That's going to be... No, they're going to be pretty set. Yeah, that's pretty good. They also got middle stat down there. Jesus. Got some good talent. And actually a decent defensive core to start things off. Gerard has a chance to maybe get statistical growth. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, they got Luongo and Markstrom. Very interesting. All right, Carolina. <laughs> I didn't even realize they got Eric Stahl back. So JVR, Eric Stahl, and Brock Besser as their first line. Palmanville, Coyle, and uh, Bobby Ryan. And then, actually pretty good. This is actually a pretty decent team in all all things considered. Oh my god, that's not fair. That's actually not fair. Vlasic, well Vlasic's way better than Dowdy, but Vlasic and Dowdy together, that's pretty, uh, that's not fair. <laughs> that's just, that's all I'm going to say. That's, uh, that's just not fair. They got Savard to green, okay. Gold center wise, Schneider and Bernier, really good. Carolina could be a team to watch out for. Columbus, Marchand, Galchenyuk, Marchiso, Fabry, Stepan, and then the Brat guy, Maroon, Peugeot. They fall off pretty quick. Not not that much in the young talent besides Richie. Yeah, you know, obviously Fabry too, but yeah. Not too bad. Okay. Defensive courts, meh. Uh, really, really strong goaltender situation though. Vasilevsky and Miller. Yikes. All right, Calgary, Patches, Bergeron, Corey Perry. That's a good first line. Ooh, good second line, too. Oh, my God. Vanek, Sagan, Hornqvist. Wow, they went good down the middle. They got Koivu on their third line. Wow, this is a pretty damn good team. Oh, man, and that's actually decent defensive core, too. Not incredible, but it's pretty decent from what we've seen so far. And they got Dubinick and Hutton, too. So, they yeah, Calgary should be pretty good. Chicago, Ehlers, Backlund, Tarasenko. Wait, didn't they have a... Oh, no, that was a... Yeah, they got Burns. That's right. And I knew they had another big name. So, unfortunately, not the strongest of cores here. But Ehlers and Tarasenko, that's going to be a pretty filthy combo in years to come. Backlands can spot fill for now, but they actually don't really have another center by the looks of it, unless it's down in their system. Uh, Burns is the only good defenseman, really. Everyone else is kind of meh. And their goaltender situation. They do have Lungfist, but not for much longer. You know, he's 35. Four years left on that price. Chicago could be falling off relatively quickly. Colorado, this is good. Sh Jaden Schwartz and Sidney Crosby with DeBrusque. And then Lad Point, Yarn Crow, Kempe Backus, Lekkinen. Not bad. Defensively, uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty good across the board. And Oh, they got Mark Henry Fleury. Wrecked. All right. Dallas, Steen O'Reilly, Wheeler. That's pretty good. Ooh, in the second line. Konechny, he's going to grow throughout the year, too, so that second line's going to get even better. I like how they got Konechny and Voracek, though. That's kind of cool. And they got Riley Smith there as well. 
And then their bottom six falls off a bit, but yeah, not a good defensive core. They got Sanheim too. How many freaking flies did you guys pick up? They got Gibby though, and Gibby gets pretty good in this game. All right, Detroit. They got Pekka Rene by the looks of it. Uh, Anders Lee, William Car. Oh my goodness, William Carlson and Patrick Kane. That is actually ridiculously cool. That's a pretty filthy. Uh, oh, they got Lucic. Sorry, not now. You guys are terrible. All right. Uh, decent, but not that great. First line's okay, but after that. Okay, decent defensive core, though. And, of course, they had Rene. So, yeah, they're going to have some pretty good early success, I think. Edmonton. They got Ajo, Tavares, Perron. And they got Kopitar, too. I, I've, I've noticed that. A lot of people are getting, like, two, like, top centers. They don't need them, man. Could They should have got, like, could have got, like, yeah, another winger. So, yeah, then they have Kessler, too. What the hell are you guys doing? Weird. How are you going to defend? Yeah, I was going to say, you can't be that good defensively after that. And probably not even that good of a goal. Nope, no goalie either. They do, Oh, they do have Corpusala though. So he'll actually probably come up pretty quick. Florida, Ovechkin, Druin as a center. That's terrible. Uh, poor Ovi. I don't think we're going to see Ovi have some uh, top points. I don't know. Maybe him and Druin can get going. But that's he doesn't have the best best stuff to work with. They better have a good scoring defenseman. Eh, Ghost of Spare will help. Ooh, that's actually one of the better defensive cores we've seen so far too. All right, Jake. <laughs> Mont oh, man. Good goaltender situation they've got. How are the Kings looking? Yeah, that's right. They got Skinner, Matthews, Burakovsky. That's not bad. Sabotka, Granlin, then Verbata, Milano. Yeah, they kind of fall off after that. Defensive core. That's actually a pretty good defensive core, though. Pretty strong across the board. And they got Hella Suck back there, who's going to get pretty good. So, yeah, they're in good situation. Evander Kane, Backstrom. Oh, my goodness. That actually might be one of the better lines you'll see. Evander Kane, Backstrom, and Kessel. We know Backstrom passes a crap ton. Now he's got Kessel and Evander Kane to work with. That's going to be pretty nice. They drop off. They got Hyman on the second line, so they drop off pretty quick, but that's still pretty good. Uh, defensively, yeah, kind of meh. But they, yeah, they don't have like, actually a goaltender situation too, so rip. All right, Montreal. They got Oshie, Giroud, Radulov. <laughs> Radulov back. Uh, Connor, Winberg, Silverberg. That's probably one of the better... More even top sixes that you'll see here. Uh, defensively, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good defensive score. And, oh, God, they got Holtby. <laughs> they got the Holt Beast back there. All right, New Jersey. Ooh, Eberle, Couture, Kucherov. That's going to be nice. And, okay, this is actually, okay, better tops. This is actually one of the better offensive cores we've seen. Definitely one of the better offensive cores we've ever seen uh, after this fantasy draft. And that's a real, oh, God. New Jersey's going to be strong. And they got Jonathan Quick. They This is probably the best team we've seen put together. This is by far the best team we've seen put together. Wow. No, yeah, that's this is literally the best, se best team we've seen so far, I think. At least the way I consider teams to be built. But, ooh, they might be getting supplanted. Nope. Offensive core, not that strong. Tatar, Trocek, Lindholm as your top line. Kerfoot is going to be okay, but what the hell? He's got a weird-ass smile. Uh, really good defensive core, though. Absolutely outstanding defensive core, honestly. And, uh, Tuka Rask as a goaltender. They're gonna be, uh, safe to say, Nashville's still gonna be strong defensively. The Isles, Jamie, Ben, Couturier, and Wilson. They really drop off in the wings there. They got Dubois, though. They got the Dabois. Maybe he gets 99 overall. Highly doubtful. Uh, decent defensive core, and they had, uh, Murray back there. <laughs> Murray and Jerry. That's funny. All right. All right, New York Rangers, Keller, Dreisaitl, Zucker, Stastny, Duchesne, Reeder. Yeah, I like that. It's decent. Keller and Dreisaitl, that's going to be a filthy combination for years to come, probably. All right, defensively, Klingberg, Truba, not bad. Could be better. And not that good of a goaltender situation. All right, Ottawa here. That's pretty good. Bailey, Monahan, Pavelski, pretty solid line. Parise, Johnson, Nyquist, pretty solid second line. But, again, they got the Parise contract, so they're going to have fun with that. Defensively, oh, yeah, Eric Carlson's back on Ottawa. I didn't even, yeah, I I didn't even, like, it didn't click for me during the draft because I just see Eric Carlson's name and Ottawa in the background. I'm just like, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> it was just so weird. But, yeah, it's a pretty decent defensive core. And they got Crawford and Neuvirth. Yeah, they're going to be a pretty good team. I think they're, I think they're, this is going to be another good team, Ottawa. Philly, Panarin, uh, Raquel, and Saad, they got, yeah, fall off after that, but they did, have, they do have Heischer, so Heischer going to supplant him, be the top guy, so they're going to have Panarin, Heischer, and, well, maybe Saad in the future. 
Uh, defensively, that's okay. Hedman's really good, obviously. Not that good of a goaltender situation. Har uh, Howard and Hutchinson. All right, Pittsburgh. They got Hull, Shen, and Williams. Domi, they got Gensel. <laughs> Gensel still and Eves. Domi, Gensel. I'm wondering how they'll work together. It could be pretty good. Well, they got Hosang too, so he'll be on his way. Oh, and Verona. They got a lot of young young talent. Defensively, McDonough, Warensky. That's really good. They got Warensky at least. Uh, Yeah, this is pretty good defensive core, I'd say. And Auntie Ranta as a goaltender. Might have a shot to get statistical growth this year with that defensive core. The Sharks. They got Rontanen, the Nuge, and Toffoli. How dare you guys get Toffoli. Um, Palat, Hala, and Gagne. Not really the strongest offensive core I've ever seen. Defensively, really not that great either. Lindholm, Ekholm, Boomister, Schmidt. Yeah. What? You better have a decent... Oh, yeah, they, they got Bobrovsky, but that's kind of it. They got Soderstrom as the backup. Interesting. St. Louis, on the other hand... Ah, that's pretty good. Zuccarello, Shifley, Ocpozo, Kachuk, Turris, Hosa, Erickson, Dano, Hoodler. I like Dano down there, of course. Not bad defensive core. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good defensive core. Definitely. How's their goaltender? Martin Jones and Halak. That's going to be a really good one-two punch there. All right, Tampa Bay. They, yeah, they're the ones with McJesus. Landeskog. Uh-oh. McJesus with two power forwards. I don't know how that's going to work out for them. We'll see. Uh, they drop off pretty quick after that. Bukestad, Atkins, did a lot of power forwards in their lineup. A lot of two-way forwards, too. It could be a good defensive team all the way around. How's their core? Uh, Ackman Larson's going to help production with McDavid, at least. Dumba's decent. It's pretty good. Not amazing, but it's pretty good. Varlamov, that's nah, really not that great for their, for their goaltender situation. Let's see. Toronto, Miller, Taves, Line. Ooh, Line and Toronto. That's pretty good. Taves, not the strongest. Yeah, he's really not that good offensively in this game. I would even probably cons nah. I was thinking about having him third line or something. Not bad. Defensive core, not bad, not great. Uh, Talbot and Smith, not yeah, not really that amazing. They would lose their flavor after that first line, really. Kreider, Kuznetsov, and Mantha on the Canucks. Uh, Nash Barzal on the Canucks now. Barzal and Killorn. Uh, Kraus, Sedin. They got Hendricks, Hank Sedin back. Jason, all right. Defensively, that's pretty good. They got Slavin. Yeah, and uh, Shabbat's going to be good. So maybe Shabbat, Petrangelo, future pairing or or something. Uh, Goaltender-wise, Saros. Okay, Saros Picard. Not that great for Vancouver. Vegas, they're the ones with Carey Price. They got, ooh, Huberto, Krejci, Hoffman. It's kind of neat. And then Yakupov, Hurdle, Duclair. Drops off after that, but they do have some. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they got Dylan Strom, too. Erickson Eck. Okay, their future's good. They got a great future here in Vegas. They got Subban, Montour, Scandella, Benning. Not that much talent in the defensive core. Yulson should be pretty good. And of course, they got Carey Price. So yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty set no matter what. All right, Gaudreau, Carter, Pasternak. Holy crap! That is a first line to be feared. Gaudreau, Carter, and Pasternak. Holy. Uh, Neil Schmaltz and Shiri. Second line: Benino, Furlan, Stemniak. Anymore? Not really met any ooh bad defensive core but young talent in there yeah not incredible but there is talent and they have bishop yeah not the greatest defense and goaltending situation i've ever seen uh johansson barkov palmieri ooh, falls off grabners ooh, they're not gonna have much of anything they better have some scoring defensemen okay <laughs> that's right they had carlson severson and eh, it's like it's okay it's average i would consider it all right so there we have it and of course we got our lines which i don't think i showed you it but i'll show you them right now i, I did get them fixed it, yeah it was just doing weird stuff like with the uh whole we don't have much money left but we got all the guys in the right spots now so that's at least good i'm gonna have to roll with bennett as as the fourth line center even though his list is depth it's just it's just how it's gonna have to be and that's all right but yeah we're built pretty damn well i mean it's we we definitely took a different approach but our team doesn't look bad considering the approach we took compared to all the other teams you know i don't i don't think this looks like a bad team at all i think it actually looks like a pretty damn decent team the top four is like a bit of a weak point uh we're gonna have to use hunwick as depth even though he's top six and we got jt brown for depth um but yeah i think eichel is gonna have a chance to succeed with these two guys i mean in the preseason he had like 12 points which was kind of ridiculous 
And that's why I simmed through, just because I had all the lines and stuff. I was, you know, making sure they're all going to be good. And not the, uh, you know, preseason lineups with a bunch of young guys in there. So, all right. I think we're uh, ready to get going here. So, uh, yeah, it took a bit longer than I thought, but whatever. That's why I'll have the time stop. And, I, yeah, I'm going to get all the way through to the uh, trade deadline here. So, let's see what happens. This is the team as they're designed to play. We'll see. I don't know. Hopefully, Eichel can carry. <laughs> That's what we want. We want Eichel to carry. All right. So, I did... I'm going to make sure about the uh, injuries. I, I do I do remember changing the uh, sliders, but just in case, they should be down to 20, 20. Yeah, they are. 20, 20, 20. Okay, good. So that's what I like my injuries on. I like to keep them on, but I lower them down from 50 to 20. I feel like that's a decent enough balance. You still get hit with some injuries, and it's just not, you know, over the top and ridiculous. And yeah. Anyway, time to get Simon here. Let's do it. We're going to do the whole first month and a half, check things out, and then keep going. So, that's the wrong one. There we go. Let's go. Anaheim sucks. There we go. All right. Win the first game like bosses. Okay. Win the second game like bosses. We're going to be good. We're the cheese team. EA has given us the power of the cheese. So, let's do it. Let's not waste the cheese. Calgary. Wow. We actually beat Calgary because they're a pretty good team. We finally lose in uh, overtime. We lose again in overtime. So, we actually got okay. 3-0-3. Just give us those extra points, evidently. Montreal. Oh, and my bad. Hold on. I didn't even. I don't even think I touched the like power play lines or anything like that. <laughs> I actually might want to take a look at some of those things. Franz Nielsen injured knee, uh, October twenty sixth. That's not too long, but I do need to put someone in there. I don't think JT Brown can take many faceoffs, but I mean he's gonna have to. I don't actually don't think it's bad. No, sixty is actually freaking terrible. I don't think we actually have anyone else. No, okay, whatever. We'll deal with it. All right, we will check this out. I didn't I didn't actually mess with my power play at all, which I might want to do. So, I did I I kind of I was going to I was thinking about just letting them roll like with what they would think was good, but I actually don't have a problem with the PK in it or anything like that. Power play I might want to optimize a bit more though. I should probably do that when he gets back. You know it's pretty good. It's, um, yeah, I don't know. I might want to get a forward there, but we don't really have that many forward options, and we don't have any good depth scoring forwards that I'd really, you know, I'll just leave it. It's it's not quite my team yet. It's 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 the beginning of it. Um, it's not quite built to uh, built for me quite yet. I haven't had that privilege. So whatever, we'll probably just not worry about it for now. Yeah, I didn't go too crazy with the lines. Bit weaker than normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolan's, Dolan's here, though. So, okay. Yeah, we've lost a bunch in a row now. So, we might... He's available. It's probably... No, I'll just... Yeah, I don't want to get another injury. <laughs> it always happens. The, the times I take the risk and say, oh, I'll just throw him back in there. What's the worst thing that can happen? That's always, that's always when I get injured. That's always what happens. That's how it goes. EA giveth, EA taketh. Nielsen back in there. How's Eichel doing so far? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. Pretty good. Good job, Eichel. Oh my god. What the hell? Why are we winning so much? This is crazy. I wasn't expecting this. I didn't even build build the team with the present in mind. I literally was like, okay, let's build for the future in this fantasy draft. But here we are, 7-1-3. and three. Uh, so <laughs> When we lose, we seem to be getting points out of it. Yeah, it's it's it looks a lot better than it kind of is, just how many overtime losses there was. We just, oh, so many overtime losses. That's all we do is lose an overtime or the shootout. And we come back and win. So, wow. This is uh, pretty damn good. Even the goals are doing good. That's nice. Keep it going, guys. Thatcher Demko is enjoying his time down there in San Diego. That's good for us. Might be... Uh, I could probably do two weeks for defense in there. Not in the hundreds, so... I'll skimp. Alright, tough loss right there, but will we answer back? Yeah, we answer back with another win. Winnipeg is a terrible team, but we killed them. And my goodness, yeah, we're uh, apparently a really good team. <laughs> 16, 3, and 6. Cheese, baby. The power of the cheese compels you. All right, well, Jack Eichel, 29 points. I'd say he's doing real well. How is his line mates doing? That's what I'm really interested in. And how, or how are his line mates going to be doing here? Goals for per game, 3.12. Goals against 2.16. Well, 
I'd say maybe one of our goalies is going to get statistical growth. This is all according to the plan, and it's it's just panning out perfectly, and you don't see this too often. Uh, good power play percentage, not a great penalty kill, so maybe I'll have to take a look at that. But we're doing real good in all other in all other facets, so let's check out the stats here. Filpula kicking some ass, exploiting some matchups on that third line, evidently. Dadanoff got 20 points. Uh, Marlow only was 17, but 10 goals. He's on pace for a 30-goal season, at least. Yay, Marlow. <laughs> uh, Dadanoff, yeah, if he keeps on... Uh, he'd need to get about 70 points, I think, to get some statistical growth. I'd say it's still, it's definitely still possible. Obviously, I mean, you look at him right now, it's definitely possible, but we'll see what happens. Second line, not doing bad. Yager, Sedin, and... Uh, well, it was Nielsen, but he's missed some not that many games. So, hilariously, Filpula's wrecking face. And Nielsen, not so much. So, interesting. I'm not too sure if that was... Ooh, Bennett. Okay, he got... Well, it might be a bit of morale. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Riley and Rissalainen getting a decent amount of points each. Everyone else. All pluses. I'll take it. Now, the, what do we really want to look at? Oh, my goodness. Yep, and they got... Reimer's doing really well as the backup. Uh, Grice is still doing pretty good as a starter. Uh, if he maintains this, I'd say that's good enough for statistical growth. I don't know if he will. But if he doesn't maintain it, the split time between these two, if Reimer gets enough... Maybe Reimer will get if he maintains these stats. If he plays like 40 games, he might even get statistical growth. I don't know. But I think one of these guys with the year we're having so far should get statistical growth. No rookies. Wow, okay, well, <laughs> I guess we'll keep going here. My goodness, I was not expecting this, but I'm I'm not mad. Can't say that I'm mad. Let's, uh, I was thinking about going another month before checking the growth, but I guess there's no harm in it. We'll see if we actually are getting some growth here. Eichel is growing by the looks of it. Ristolainen as well, good. All natural. Riley, all natural, good. We're getting growth. Eichel. Natural growth. There we go. Bennett's got a bit too, and that's, I believe, natural. Yep. All right. Looking good so far in the system. Uh, Foot's grown by three overall already. Thatcher Demko's already grown by one overall. Svechnikov's grown a bit. Gustafsson, Nylander, everyone's kind of going up. So good. Nylander's in the juniors. Suzuki grown a little bit. Sprong, not yet. That's all right, though. Yamamoto, not yet. Dalcall, not yet. Brooksy, not yet. Okay, cool. Still looks really good. <laughs> I can't, I can't, can't argue. It looks really good right now. So, all right, let's keep going. Yeah, we're listed as a rebuilder. Not so much, evidently. <laughs> okay, let's go. Another month. A lot of games in here. A bunch of double headers as well. Nice little two nothing win. Then we lose three nothing, but that's okay. Again, this is all a bonus. I was not expecting this to be a good team. Let's keep going here. All right, loss right there, but we get a point and another loss. So we've lost three in a row right now. We might start falling back down, but we come back with a win in OT. All right, another loss. Yeah, it's starting to maybe starting to fall back down to earth here, getting into the uh, the uh, hard part of the season. We're starting to lose. Oh, man, yeah, we're really starting to lose a lot more. Oh, yeah. Finally, we come back with a win. Is that going to be a turnaround? Or are we going to get back, back on a losing train? Huh? Might be... Might be back on the winning train. 21, 8, and 8. Like, it looks really good because we've lost so much in OT that we get, like, 8 extra points. Like, 21 and 16 isn't terrible, but it doesn't sound as good as <laughs> is what we're on right now. Wow. VGK, we beat them again. Wow, man. We beat Calgary. Uh, we beat Arizona. We're winning all these divisional games. 24, 8, and 8. I'm not, I I'm, I'm even kind of hesitant to stop right now, but we only got another month till the deadline. I might as well stick to the format here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jack Eichel still above point a game. We have a seven point lead in the division. Unreal. Vancouver's at the bottom. Didn't they have a pretty good team? Maybe they didn't. Thought they had a pretty good team. It could be wrong. Uh, goals for per game has slipped a bit. 2.7, uh, 2.97. Goals against 2.3. How's our power play? Power play is still good. Penalty kill went back up, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, we did slip a bit in the goal scoring department. And again, maybe we should move Phil Peel back up there. Maybe he was getting 
Maybe he was better than Nielsen in that role. Wow. Yeah, we're just we're good across the board. We're taking not the fewest amount of penalties, but not the most either, so that's good. Um, how many power plays are we get? And we're drawing we're drawing a lot, so that's good too. Yeah. I I can't I can't argue with the results here. Jack Eichel's up to an 88 overall. Perfect. Still above point a game. Dadanoff with 34 points. Sedin with 31. Marlowe down there only with 24. And only 12 goals. So maybe we want to switch him and Sedin. Philpil is still there at 27. Yager with 27. And Nielsen's way down there only with 18. I think I should move Philpil onto that line. Maybe he's exploiting matches, but it's no one else. Well, obviously he's got, I think, Hartnell with him. So Hartnell's getting some points. But Nielsen just seems like more of a third liner to me. Yeah, sure, he's got better offensive stats, but it doesn't seem to be showing. And again, it might just be because the whole matchup thing. And maybe if we put Phil Pula there, it'll be the same kind of thing. Because an 80 overall on that second line isn't great. But Sedin's doing really, really good. The Augur's doing good. I mean, they're doing better than Mar. Maybe I want to, you know, try Marlowe onto that, onto the second line. I'll probably keep him on the first power play, but try Sedin up there. How many shots? 101. Sedin's got 112. It's not that big of a difference, but the ice time difference should be relatively palpable let me see here um yeah 593 for Sedin whereas Marlowe's at 739 oh yeah no I'm, I'm gonna go with Sedin holy crap yeah I'm gonna go with Sedin I think that's pretty cut and dry right there uh both of our goalies continuing to do well one of them is I think is gonna get statistical growth I think Grice is going to have that kind of season. He's going to get massive statistical growth, and we can flip him for value <laughs> and then really start to get a bunch more younger guys and draft ridiculously heavy and be completely OP. But, yeah, defensively, that first line does, definitely seems to be struggling a bit, too. I mean, the plus minuses could be a lot better. But defensive core plus minuses are great. So, hey. Maybe we could split up Ristolainen and or Morgan Riley, but oh no, nope, Morgan Riley's list is top. Oh, they're both listed as top two now. So nope, I ain't moving them <laughs> right where they should be. Don't really necessarily need the point production in the other places. We're kind of a one line team right there, and that's it's sort of working out for us. I mean, yeah, our second line's doing good, but let's see here. Maybe I'm gonna. I think I want to switch that up. We can maybe even have our first line doing even better, or maybe I'm gonna ruin a good thing right here. But I at least gotta try. I mean, that that shooting volume from Sedin compared to Marlowe is is night and day, man really is night and day so i'm gonna try that out try philpula up instead of uh of nielsen or maybe maybe keep it like this maybe marlo will yeah yager didn't take too many shots only 55 62 yeah we're i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go with philpula because he takes a few more shots so i'm gonna try that out marlo philpula yager on that second line don't know if it'll work out but we'll see all right let's try that out i just want sedin and more of it more shooting you know, more shooting on that line. Because uh, Dadunov's kind of producing more hybrid. So if we get a goal scorer, Eichel's, Eichel's a pure playmaker. Dadunov looking like the hybrid. I'm just going to show you why I'm I'm considering that again. Uh, Dadunov's sort of hybrid, and then Sedin could be the goal scorer. That's what I think of perfect. It should, it, it, I don't know. Look, again, I might mess up a good thing right here. But we'll see. And it also could be that uh, Marlos, you know, on the back end of things because Ristolainen and Morgan Riley are getting so many points too. But we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Maybe we just get Eichel some hardware this year. Who knows? Another month. Let's do it. Let's continue to kick some ass. There's a nice another win. Edmonton, we're competing with the top slot for them. We lose to them. Calgary, we win. Okay. I, I don't think it's a fluke anymore. I, I think we're actually a genuinely well-built team somehow. And I wasn't even trying to build a good team. So, yay. <laughs> I, I'll take it. Still below 10 reg losses. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go to Merka. 3-2 and two there. That'll be easy. Big win. Another nice win. Holy. Alright, Austin Matthews is in town. Uh, we lose to them 2-1. to one. And whoever is on San Jose now is in town. Valtteri Flippula is injured with a bruised hand. Stop getting injuries to center because I don't have many options for center. You dicks. <laughs> Oh, hello, Bennett. Are you... Damn, still this is depth. 79, though. All right, so you're back up. Do I have another option for... Like, there's got to be somebody with... Okay, Trevor Lewis has 76 face-offs. Yeah, okay. Trevor Lewis is playing center on my third line. And JT Brown's going in there. I don't think, I don't think it was too long that we lost. I forgot to check. Ooh, Bennett was still on the power play. Whoops. Actually, he's probably doing pretty good. I might want to just keep him on that power play. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to keep him on that power play. Fuck Nielsen. 
Uh, could put Philpula instead of one of these guys on the point. Daly's got some goals, though, so I might want to leave him. Only one goal in the power play, but four points. Cronwell, how you doing? Two points on that power play. Could go with, like, Philpula or something there. But they're kind of the same. Oh, I feel, yeah, Philp is injured. Herp. All right, whatever. <laughs> Let's just continue. Tough loss right there. Uh, you want to give us a first? You want daily and two-thirds? Mm, no, I really do want firsts, but... I kind of need... Well, I do have Hunwick, but he's depth. I would need to pick up something else in depth in this trade if I was going to do this for that first. And I, I think they're, they're a pretty good team, so this first isn't going to be that great. They want... Yeah, they, they want way too much. Give me that bullshit straight up. Nah. Um, nah, I'm, I'm using... Nah, I need daily right now. <laughs> I kind of need him. I'll just, I'll pass on that. Philpil is available. Let's wait till he's fully healed. Don't need to rush him back. Lost right there. Philpil is fully healed. Let's get him back in there. Beauty. Here we go. Keep going with Philpil on the second line. Seems to be sort of working-ish. So he's got 21 goals now. Eichel's got a few more goals since we last checked, too. But it's continuing. Continuing to do good, I think. Win right here. Ah, lost. But we get a point. Not bad. 29, 12, and 10. Still really good. Especially for what our team is, man. It's just, it's still really good. All right. So Eichel down below point of game now. So he has fallen off slightly. We'll see if it is our offense falling off as a whole. Yeah, it is. And goals against Kemp going back up there a little bit. Penalty kill fell back down. It's been up and down, hovering around 80%. But power play's been really good. But we have dropped off scoring-wise. And it might be because Sedin's up there. Maybe we'd have to move back Marlowe. It seemed to be maybe doing better. But I can give it another... I can give it up to the deadline. And, oh, even Dadanov's got less points. Even Sedin... Yeah, I, th I think... I, I Yeah, I think I got to move it back. While it might seem like we're getting more in certain areas, I, I don't know. I Maybe I, it's still kind of small sample size. I, I want to give it one more. I think I want to give it one more. One more month or something. Yeah, we have fallen off as a group, sure, but... I don't know. Goaltender is still doing good, both of them. Yep, still doing good. I like it. I like it. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it for one more month here. I I, I need to give it at least a two-month sample size, I think, to see if it's... If we continue falling off offensively and stuff like that, then yeah, I'll put it back. Uh, especially if we see Eichel dropping even further below point of game. Then obviously, you know, we, we messed with something that was a good thing. But I was trying to get, you know, maybe Eichel some more assists with a more pure goal scorer up there. That's a tough L. That's another tough L. Come on, guys. Don't don't drop off now. If we obviously lose a bunch in a row, I'm just going to move it back <laughs> to how it was before because, yeah, we were winning a lot more with it. Tough loss. Another loss. If we, Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. There's a nice win. If we better win a bunch in a row right here with a lot of goal scoring or else I'm, not, I'm really not convinced. But this is a good experiment. They really want this daily deal. I'm not a fan of it. Loss, but we get a point. Let's fuck off with that. Okay, there's a win. Not a lot of goal scoring, but we get the dubs. There we go. Not too good on the defensive end of things, but we got the, the points. Okay. There we go. Nice. Another win. Dallas, not a very good team. We get the win over them. A lot of goals again. Allowing some goals, but we're getting the goals, so hey. We're scoring a lot. That's at least good. We lose to Arizona. Nicholas Quanval is injured with a sore shoulder. March 8th. Well, luckily, we have Hunwick, who should be able to fill into that role pretty easily. Yeah, I don't... Well, Girardi Mathot actually not doing too good right now together. But, hey, what can you do? We can try splitting them up and going like that. Try Hunwick out with Girardi. Try something like that. See if that'll have a better uh, better effect here. How's it doing since then? No, he's still only got 21 goals. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's no, Nope, 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 nope. Move it back. Move it back. 
Got to be moved back. It's not good. <laughs> Yager's fucking phenomenal, though. He's already got 20 goals. 46-year-old Yager with 20 goals. <laughs> Epic. Dadnoff's got 20 as well. Oh, Eichel's got 20. Yeah, he actually jumped up as a bit of a goal scorer there. So moving Marlow back, I think, is just better at all the way around. I think everyone kind of was performing better with those combos. Just the whole team, every, everything. Like, even, the, like, the plus minuses, like, ee, that's not good. Like, you look at that, ooh, no, 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 no. You need a bit more defense. So, it's like, it seemed like that those combinations were just slightly better. I don't know. That's what it seemed like, at least. So, move it back. We end with a win right there. I don't know if we did the, the line changes applied to that one or not, but whatever. So, 36, 16, and 12. Not bad. Those overtime losses, those helped a lot. All those extra points, those really, really helped. 84, we're in first by seven points. Really good. Really good here. So, um, we're a playoff team. <laughs> and I don't know if I would really make some moves here at the deadline. I don't I don't know. Eichel just continues to be point of game, though, which is really good. But, yeah. Um, Trade-wise, I mean, there's not that much that we can do. So, I'm not too sure what even we could do here. I mean, we don't have much money spare. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. I, like, on one hand, it'd be cool to go get some more assets for a draft, but... On the other hand, things seem to be just going pretty swimmingly right now. Do we not have any... I guess we don't have any... I guess they're all in the juniors, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry. I was just uh, looking for my prospects there. Sam, okay, good. Sam Bennett's third line. Beauty. Okay, time to move him up. I'm moving up to the third line. Fuck you, Nielsen. Don't care. You're down on the fourth line now. Have fun. Yep, Sam Bennett. We want to prioritize his growth. I think this guy's going to be our number two. And if not, well, we'll have other options. But he's built relatively well pretty good all across the board and obviously i want to give him the ice time that he needs so he'll stay on the power play i think he's been doing pretty good on the power play yeah 10 points on the power play i'd say that's pretty good so keep him on that power play now he'll play third line with uh hartnell and uh versteeg maybe versteeg will uh get some goals who knows all right but yeah deadline any trades that we should make because i'm i'm not too sure i'd love to get some more assets but i we don't really have that much to give up either so um, this might be a silent deadline, but definitely let me know uh, any ideas and stuff that we have. I'll go to our trade screen so we can at least see our value, our assets, and stuff like that. And you guys can kind of get an idea of uh, where we're coming from here. But I think most of our trades are going to come next year when we start getting some, uh, you know, some jumps and such. Like, Dadunov, I think, is going to, might, if he continues the way he's going, he might get stat growth. I think one of our, at least one, I think at least one of our goalies is getting statistical growth. I think Grice should are you listed as backup he's listed as backup so hmm maybe we want to well we can't really get much back for Reimer and he's doing really good as a backup but I do want to prioritize getting Demko to grow so as he's listed as backup I think I sh should probably play him as such I can move down Reimer no one's I don't think anyone's going to pick him up off waivers at this price 3.4 for four years I highly doubt anyone will pick him off waivers so he could play in our AHL and we can move Demko up but yeah other than that like asset wise we actually don't have that much but we will because we're gonna we should be getting some statistical growth so i actually don't think we're gonna be making many any trade mm, many trades or if if at all any trades at this deadline might be a bit silent and then we'll uh check out the uh, playoffs and such but anyway this will be it for right now so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh give me all your suggestions of course i was not expecting to have this kind of a good year but it's happening so hey Let's take it. <laughs> All right, guys. So remember to leave that like, and I will see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.